All right, on this episode of Rise with Rowdy, we take a look at the 2017 GMC Sierra 2500 Denali HD. This unit has the uh, Duramax with the Allison transmission. So let's take a look, a look at this one. This color, I believe, is like a dark slate metallic. It almost looks black, but it's, uh, it's not black. It's almost like a greenish type color. Looks really good in the sun, but it's got a little bit of overcast, so you won't be able to really check it out. But this is what I call another auction fresh video right here. This unit does have the BW trailer hitch in the back. Got a tunnel cover in the back, fifth wheel. This is a toolbox and also a um, fuel fuel tank, auxiliary fuel tank. Which I guess that will come in handy on those long trips having that fuel, having that fuel tank in there. This unit does not have the multi-function tailgate, but it does have a locking tailgate. And you got a uh, connection there for your trailer setup, whatnot, for your lights and whatnot. This is a tunnel cover. Well, the tunnel cover was in pretty bad shape, so I went ahead and we went ahead and removed that. This unit does have unlock keyless entry, so you got your unlock lock and remote start and you got your panic button so let's see if the remote start works on this unit nope so i guess we have to figure that out all right so the remote start does work Let's take a look at the engine while she's running. Keyless entry does work. I went ahead and shut it off so you guys could hear me during the video. You can shut it off with the remote start as well, if you didn't know that. So this unit has not been detailed auction fresh so off the bat i can tell this is some either some coolant or some df fluid on the top of this so we have to look on that as far as the recon process see how she does detail guy really knocks it out the park after it's been through detail you won't even believe how his, his skills it looked like new money looked like a new truck but that's the engine right there Duramax 6.6 .6 liter HD. This truck is out of Texas. Let's take a look at the inside. We do have the tenant windows. This unit has black interior. And again, excuse the mess, this is auction fresh. Has not been through detail. So you got all your, your settings there for your seat. If you got more than one passenger, or a husband and wife team that likes to drive. She likes one, you like two, or vice versa. You got your windows here. Unlock, try to lock these mirrors, fold in and out. This unit is four wheel drive. Got your trailer brake here, four wheel drive here, auto for the lights. This is the Denali, so everything in here is extra luxurious. Sunroof, I actually love a sunroof. I love a sunroof. That's one of the reasons why I love the WeatherTech mats. Look how clean that carpet is underneath the mat. So this is definitely, definitely plus. The back, very spacious back. Again, this truck needs to be cleaned up. These seats load up. So you got more storage, more space. But look at that carpet. This truck's gonna clean up great. It's gonna clean up so good. Once the detail guy gets his hands on it. Let's see if we got anything in here. Cup holder there.
Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's see what the passenger side looks like. This unit does have the 20 inch wheels. Tires are in good shape. We've got plenty of tread left on those tires. Plenty of tread left on the tires. Yep. Got plenty of storage there. Plenty of storage in there. Got the original owner's manual. I wonder if it's got the Moroni sticker inside. Let's see if it's got it in Sometimes you get lucky they put the window sticker in there. I must I really like seeing the work the window stickers of what stuff costs brand new. And a lot of times folks ask me, why do you always do do reviews of older stuff? Well, that's what I buy. I buy older stuff and I like to do the reviews on the older stuff just simply because I can see show you how it's held up over the years or that vehicle's weak points over the years or it's common problems over the years versus something brand new nobody knows nothing about including the dealer so we'll put that in my jacket here it's got power seats on both sides yep that works the seat works so that works bose audio system so this thing's got a nice very nice sound as far as the uh sound system goes we got more storage in these trays here on the door panels on both the passenger and driver side and this seat folds up but what i do like in the newer trucks i believe 2022 23 and the 24 on these trucks here this seat right here has a built-in storage compartment you pull this little strap out something and it'll have a storage compartment in here. So I do like that feature that they started putting on the new trucks. But with this being the older truck, it does not have that. And again, the WeatherTech mats, man. Love the WeatherTech mats because it really keeps the carpet in good shape. So interior-wise, this truck will clean up super quick once the uh, interior guy puts, once the uh, detail guy puts his touches on it. Well, that sums up the interior. Let's get ready to uh, take this thing for a ride. Let's see how she does on the road. Yeah, let's see how she drives. Got the step bars in there. Let's turn the key. is in demonstration mode connected by onstar's high speed 4g connection press the blue onstar button to learn more all right so as you guys heard this unit does have onstar capability this unit has ninety three thousand one hundred and eighty nine miles on it so this truck's it's got a lot of life left a lot of life left got your onstar feature there you got your sunroof feature there for your sunroof you got your rear slide there, rear slide, sunroof. These are buttons here. A lot of people don't realize what these buttons are, but this is for your garage door. So for those folks that have a garage and have an opener, you can program it, or you should be able to program it, depending upon what type of garage you have, and use this instead of your garage door opener, built-in garage door opener. Got your lights there, sunglasses there. Let's see if all the windows work. That window works. That window works. Yep, that window works. That window works. Let's see if the sunroof. Sunroof. <laughs> sunroof works. Let's close. Closing the sunroof. So that works. 
And let's see if the um, let's see if the back glass works. Power glass, I like that. So that works. Everything inside works. Let's take this thing for a drive. Put my seatbelt on. Can never be too cool for the seatbelt. Let's see how she drives. I see why guys like these trucks. Now I'm interested to see how this thing compares to the um, to the Ram 3500. I did a Ram 3500 not too long ago, Tradesman, and that thing was a workhorse. That thing would pull just about anything you would want it to pull. But before this uh, truck does have, this truck is uh, XM capable. You also can do your smartphone. Uh, auxiliary cable, things of that nature. Uh, you got your, your controls, you got heat, his and hers, heat and AC, his and her uh, heated and cooled seats. And you've got all your buttons here. This button here, you can adjust the brake and gas pedal, um, lane departure, exhaust brake goes on there. Then you've got these features here. And you got power outlet there. This cup holder, you've got storage in there. Also, you got some auxiliary ports inside. You got another charge still there. You got storage there, so you got a ton of interior storage. Not to mention, you got storage on the side, is there. Well, let's take this thing for a drive, man. Let's see how she does on the road. All right, we get ready to put old girl on the road here. We're gonna see what she's got on the on the highway, everyday driving here. Oh, oh, oh. she's got some power. She has definitely got some power. All right, all right, yeah, she's definitely got some pep in her step. <laughs> All right, this truck has about 415 horsepower and about 910 pounds of torque. So she should be able to pull just about anything you want to pull. Um, another thing with this truck is, this is basically what I would call a, a, a works man's trucks and luxury. Being able to work in your truck with luxury features. So uh, that tradesman, that I did a review on, which is basic. Everything was just plain Jane basic. This Denali has all the bells and whistles, so you should be able to work out of it comfortably and in, and in luxury. Um, also, with that said, the ride in this truck is very, very smooth. Um, I don't really feel like I'm, I know I'm riding in a truck, but it doesn't have that truck feel. So some of you guys that are in truck vehicles or SUVs will know what I'm talking about, but this truck rides very, very smooth. Um, and then sometimes when I'm driving it throughout the day, I really kind of forget that I'm in a, I'm driving a truck because it just drives that well. So it drives a lot better than some of the other trucks that I've reviewed. All in all, this truck, I believe is gonna have a high real sale value here in the near future. Um, just simply because of the fact not knowing what the market's gonna do as far as with the electronic with electronic with um, electric electric vehicles uh, i think when the electric vehicles and the electric trucks come out the market's going to change dramatically you're going to have people being divided they either want the fuel or they're going to want the electric um, i hadn't really seen too much research about manufacturers doing something like a a hybrid truck especially in a diesel i haven't seen or read anything about that just as yet so it might be out there i just haven't seen it uh, also with this truck, I feel this truck is going to have a very high resale value um, in the future, especially with these miles. Um, yep, yeah, especially with these miles, this truck is going to have a high resale value. 
Uh, the only thing that makes me nervous about these Duramaxes are injectors. Um, they're, so you do your own research as far as injectors and whatnot go. But this transmission on this, this is the one that everybody wants. It has the Allison transmission. So the Allison transmission is a very, very good transmission as far as transmission goes. A lot of guys do Allison transmission swaps because they want that transmission. I have seen a few Duramaxes uh, with over 500, 600, 700,000 miles. So that makes me feel confident that this truck will go a long time. So if you guys have a Duramax, have had any problems, let me know your problems in the, in the comments. And then let me know, you know how expensive those issues are to fix and um, some weak points of the Duramax and some strong points of the Duramax that folks may not already know. So on this episode, I'm going to conclude with the uh, rating system. I usually go from 1 to 10, ten being, 1 being awful, 10 being absolutely fabulous. Uh, this truck gets a solid, solid 7.5. No, I'll give it 8. I'll give this truck an 8. I will give this truck a solid, solid eight. And it's got the luxury, it's got the look, interior's clean, uh, it's got the miles, four wheel drive, and it has the sunroof. I love a truck with a sunroof, so that's one of my reasons for giving it an eight. Not to mention the, uh, it does have the Allison transmission. So this concludes Rod, Roddy, Roddy Ross, Rod now. Step bars in there. So I like to do a night review just simply because some folks do more night driving than they do during the day. And also at night, in my opinion, certain vehicles take on different features or characteristics that can kind of make or break it. So what this is what this unit looks like at nighttime. This is what the gates look like at nighttime. This unit does have the turn signals built in. So that's a plus at night for when you want to merge. You got your settings here for your, your windows, your mirrors, unlock. You're able to see the four wheel drive, you're able to see the trailer brake, you're able to see the lights. The lights are pretty bright, HIDs. Able to see the infotainment, the radio, heat and AC, your fan, your uh, fan. <laughs> Your heated and cooling seats, you're able to see that. So all that is a real plus. Everything's easy to see. You got a heated steering wheel in the sky. Mirror. So all that stuff is easy to easy to see, easy to read. But in my opinion, in my opinion, this is for Denali, it's really not, maybe it's just me being picked. I expected a little bit more at the Denali. The Ram 1500 Bighorn Platinum, the new ones now, the inside of those trucks, wow. At nighttime, they take on a totally different characteristic, totally different truck. So for this big a Denali, I'm really, I'm happy with it, but I'm not impressed. Um, the gauges in this unit are bright, so that's a good plus. You got your light that comes on there, so you're able to see. So it's very friendly on my eye, very easy to use. You know where everything's at, can see everything. So that's what this unit looks like, like at night. Also on this unit here, you've got different features here. You can go to here. So there's a fuel economy on trip A. Then there's a fuel economy on trip B. 21.7 miles per gallon. Fuel range, which is not true. That fuel range is probably a little bit more because it's got that auxiliary tank in it. And that tank's got about half a gallon of half a tank of fuel in that tank so that's probably not true it's probably more than that um here's your oil life tire pressure it's got a timer on it fuel filter got your engine hours there 
So out of those hours, 961 hours, 961 hours, this truck has been idling. And that's that. So that's what the inside of this vehicle looks like. Thank you guys for riding with me. I do think it'd be cool if this lit up so you could see the Denali. I do think that would be kind of cool though.